Hello everyone, welcome to another lesson in your virtual Spanish class. In this lesson, you will learn how to introduce yourself in Spanish, some different vocabulary related to when you've just met someone, and a few different ways to bid farewell. Vamos, let's go. Imagine that you just met someone and you wanted to know his or her name. So in Spanish, there are two ways of asking this question an informal and a formal way. So first we have, ¿Cómo te llamas? Or, ¿Cuál es tu nombre? If you are in an informal setting. Yeah, and we also have, ¿Cómo se llama? Or, ¿Cuál es su nombre? If the setting is more formal. Yeah, to answer this question if asked, you can say, ¿Me llamo? Or, ¿Mi nombre es? And indicate your name. So let's look at an example. Again, we have como te llamas, informal, or como se llama, formal. So in this example, maybe we can assume that they are in a formal setting based on their dress. So let's go with como se llama. And in response, she says, me llamo Julia. And now she would like to know what's his name. She can simply say, and you. And in Spanish, to say this, you can say, y tú, or you stayed. So, y tú would be the informal way to say this and you stayed would be the formal way. So, let's go with you stayed in this example. And he responds, me llamo Mateo. About the two ways to address someone, the formal way, which is also called the usted form, is used to address persons who you are not familiar with, persons who you are in a professional or last name relationship with, or someone who is older than you as a form of respect. The informal way, also called the two form, is used with persons with whom you are familiar. So for example, friends and family, and you can also use the informal address with peers. So if you are a student, maybe your classmates at school, or depending on the relationship you have with your colleagues at work. When you meet someone for the first time, you may want to say it's nice to meet you. So there are different ways you can say this in Spanish. For example, mucho gusto. Both males and females can say this. Or we have encantada, which females only can use, and encantado, which can only be used by males. Next, we have es un placer conocerte, which is informal, or es un placer conocerle, which is formal. Or simply, es un placer, and both males and females can say this. So based on that note, which of the greetings below would you never use? It depends on whether you are male or female, yeah? So tell me in the comments which one it was in your case. The final thing I want to share with you in this video is a few different ways to say farewell. So first, and the one which I think everyone already knows is adios, which means goodbye. Sometimes people may say ciao, bye, instead of adios. You can use whichever one you want. Or maybe you want to say something a little more than just goodbye. So you can say perhaps hasta luego, which means see you later. Hasta mañana, which means see you tomorrow, or hasta pronto, which means see you soon. Did you like that video? I sure hope you did. Please like and share and see you guys in the next video. Hasta la próxima.